And now what we want to do is set up our merge form. All right, so to set up our merge form, we're going to move over to the merge forms tab. We have our merge form that we had started setting up earlier. I'm going to click on the pencil tool to edit this. Now, as you can see on the left hand side, we have all of our index fields that we just identified or used to create our docuer form. First thing I want to do is go to output and just select the store dialog for the file cabinet that this form is going to be associated with, which is our refund request file cabinet. There's our store dialog there. And then moving over to the index tab, indexing tab, um, document type, I'm going to set this to be a fixed value and I'm going to call it refund request. So setting this as a fixed value means that anytime this form is being submitted, as soon as it goes to the file cabinet, the document type field in that file cabinet is going to say refund request. Now I need to identify the other fields. So we have parent guardian name, uh, the source is the web form field, and then we just basically match it up with our um, fields on the form. So I need to find the parent guardian name and now we do student name. Okay, so I have my fields identified now. I'm gonna hit OK. I always make sure I save no matter what after everything I do on DocuWare. So we're going to go back into our merge form here. We have our output and our index. We have our output and our indexing identified. So now what we need to do is create the merge form itself. So on the left hand side here, we have our form fields, and what we need to do is make sure that this add a fill area icon is selected at the top left hand corner. This is going to allow me to draw out where I want these fields placed on the form. So under payee information, we have our parent guardian name. I choose this field on the left-hand side, and then I click and drag on the form itself to set up where I want the index field to go. And what I'm going to do is just go straight on down the line and identify each one on the form. Okay, then we're going to move down to the next section. There's student name. You can see that the section's identified on the left-hand side there. We want to grab our student name field. Now the next one grades a little bit different. If you recall, we set up a select list, which is a drop-down for grade and attendance building. So on the left-hand side, I'm going to drop down the grade drop-down. Or oh, I'm sorry. Now this one's going to be a little bit different, the original payment method field, and the reason is because it's a checkbox. What I want to do is open this up, select our first option, which is cash check, and then identify that checkbox. So you'll see the X in that box. That's what it's going to look like if someone checks that box when they're completing the form. So I always make sure that the X is centered in that box. Okay, so we have online, that's matched up. 
Now we're going to drop down to account description. Again, we have another checkbox, so I'm going to drop this down. I'm going to select no, identify that, and same with yes. Now, here's something I wanted to mention. Um, we have several fields that have the same name, like account description, for example. We have three or four of those on this form. Um, you can actually tell which is which on the right-hand side. The fill area name is going to show you which one is which. So if I were to bring this out a bit, you can see account description three. That means this is my third one. Um, Okay, so we have all of our fields now mapped out on the original PDF document. I'm going to hit OK. And I'm just going to save it for the heck of it. Now, the final step is to make this form public if this is a form that you want to be able to send out to people outside of your organization. So you check box or check the box next to public form, and then you want to hit configure. It's going to ask for your document username and password. And then we want to validate. All right, so I got the green success check mark. That's good. Hit OK on that. Save once again. Okay, and then we're going to publish. Okay, so our form is published. I'm just going to close that out for now. You can see our form there at the top. If we ever wanted to jump back in and edit this form at any time, we can just do that by clicking on the pencil tool on the right-hand side, and we can also duplicate this form as well. Now here's the form link. This is the link that you'll send out to people to, feel, to complete the form. So here's our online form. And if we go back to Docuer, I'm just going to perform a search on the new file cabinet we created, which is refund request. So I can do a search for the indexes that I um, set up for the file cabinet itself. Do a search. At the moment, it should bring up nothing because I haven't used it yet. No documents. OK. So we're going to fill this form out. And then all of a sudden, there will be a document in the file cabinet. And you'll also see the original PDF form completed as well. So. Here's my online form. I'm just going to fill this out. Here's our drop down. I can choose the grade. Another drop down, I can choose my attendance building.
Okay, I'm just kind of randomly filling things out here. All right, so I have my form filled out. I'm just going to click the Submit button. It's going to tell me my form was submitted successfully. And now I'm just going to do a, a search on that file cabinet itself. And as you'll see, my document there is listed. And on the right-hand side, as you can see, the original PDF has been populated with everything I filled out on the online form.